Are you thinking about starting your fitness journey and don't know where to begin? I will be sharing six tips you need to know before you get started. And these are the tips that I wish I knew before I started my fitness journey. Hi, welcome. If you're new here, my name is Jasmine and I like to make lifestyle and fitness content. Oh, hold on. I think that's my package. Let's go check it out. I'm in the process of repainting my walls. So please don't mind any of this here. I have my package. Let's check out what's inside. I did it again. I told myself I wasn't going to buy anything I didn't need, but here we are. I convinced myself that I needed this. It's the Buff Bunny Heathered Bodysuit. And I've been eyeing this on their website and on their Instagram page. So yeah, I convinced myself that I needed it. But I got a size small and a size medium because I didn't know which one was going to fit. So I'm gonna go ahead and try that on and then we're gonna get right into tip number one. Okay, I have the bodysuit on and oh my God, I tried the small, but the small was too small. I could not get it past my hips. The medium feels better, but it still feels a little tight, especially like here, but let me show you. That leads me to tip number one, set realistic goals. Saying that you want to lose 20 pounds in two weeks is not realistic. By doing this, you're only setting yourself up for failure. It's crucial to have a clear goal that will help you stay motivated. Make sure that your goals are specific, measurable, and realistic for your lifestyle. Remember that change doesn't happen overnight and that it's why it's called a fitness journey. Emphasis on the journey. It's going to be long, but it's definitely worth it at the end. Right off the bat, I'm just going to say that the all or nothing mindset is out the window, thrown into the garbage, never to be seen again. That mindset doesn't live here and we are shifting our mindsets today. Tip number two, fuel your body. Exercise and nutrition go hand in hand. Make sure you are consuming an adequate amount of protein for your body because protein builds muscle remember to always make healthy food choices limit the sweets and sodas everything in moderation cheers all right i'm ready we're gonna go hit legs so we're definitely going to be putting this bodysuit to the test. Okay, so tip number three, focus on establishing a sustainable routine, one that you can keep up with. For example, if you can only work out three days a week, one day you'll do legs, you'll do four to five exercises, the second day you'll do upper body, four to five exercises, and the third day you'll do cardio and abs. The biggest mistake I did when I first started was not sticking to a routine. I would just go to the gym and do whatever. I would do legs on Monday one week and then do legs on Tuesday the next, but don't do that. Have a clear routine and make sure you stick to that routine every week. I would also go to the gym and try different exercises. Don't do that, especially when you're first starting out. You wanna go and do the same exercises so that you know that you're getting better at them stick to the basics once you get those basics down you can always try different exercises All right, we made it to the gym, but before I go in there, I'm gonna give you tip number four. And that is to find a fitness style that you like. Something you find fun. It can be running, yoga, Pilates, or even boxing. It doesn't have to be weightlifting. Just find a fitness style that you find fun, something that you are more likely to stick with. Tip number five, consistency. I don't know why, but I'm starting to strongly dislike that word. But it's true. With anything you're trying to do, the only way you'll get better at it is by being consistent. 
The same goes with fitness. Being consistent is key to seeing results. Set a date and a time that you're able to go to the gym. And if you miss a day, don't beat yourself up for it. I struggled with being consistent at the gym. I am struggling now with being consistent on YouTube. I'm actually working on a video of ways to stay consistent. So look out for that. Let's squat these plates. So I can hold. <sighs> that burns so good. I also want to say that when you first start going to the gym, you have gym anxiety. And I know when I first started coming, I experienced gym anxiety. And even now, I still experience anxiety from time to time. But in order to overcome that, you need to tell yourself that no one cares. Everyone here is just focused on themselves. And if they are judging, it has more to do with them than with you. So just put on your headphones, blast your favorite song, and focus on you. Oh yeah, by the way, I actually like this bodysuit. It's really, really comfortable. I feel like it stretches over time. Like it's perfect for leg day. Let me take this off so you guys can see the bodysuit in action. I'm done. I'm gonna head home. I'll see you guys there. I don't know why I look greenish yellow. I don't know if it has to do with the settings or if it's just the lighting, but I'm at Ingles. I needed to pick up a few things because I'm going to be making Chipotle chicken. So I need to get Chipotle. Tip number six, give your body some time to rest. Don't underestimate the importance of recovery. Your body needs time to repair and it is a crucial part of muscle growth. So there you have it. Those are the six tips I wish I knew before I started my fitness journey. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and most important, remember to love yourself and to stay active. I'll catch you guys in my next one. Bye.